What is up guys and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be learning a really simple but effective fly through in logo effect that is used very commonly uh, in this intro community and surprisingly it's a very simple uh, effect that requires an extremely small amount of steps. So let's just check it out. As you can see in this composition right here I have a wallpaper for Firewatch. And as I scrub through the timeline, you can see my logo appears, and then it gets filled in. So let's just watch that again. It's very simple, but it looks so nice, and it's a very good way to transition from one scene, which is like uh, a scene like this, into another scene with a logo or a text that displays the client information. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new composition. I'm gonna call this uh, main. Make it 1920 by 1080. Make the frame rate 60 frames per second. And the duration, I'm gonna make that around, make that like five seconds, so zero five. Click okay. And now we have a composition, an empty composition. Of five seconds. The first thing I'm gonna do is drag in the wallpaper or in this case you could drag in like the first scene of your animation. Now this the thing about it is if you're gonna use an image you want it to be extremely high resolution because we're gonna be scaling in and scaling out. So you don't want it to be want it to be like pixely. Um, but yeah. So I have this little wallpaper here. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a new solid. So I'm going to hit Control Y, call this BG, and I'll make this white. Now this color is dependent on the color that you want to see behind the logo. So I'm going to make it white for my circumstance. Now once I've got the white solid there, I'm going to drag in my logo. And I'm going to scale it to the desired size. In this case probably around here now it's very simple to make this transparent and show the background so all I literally literally all I have to do is click toggle switches and modes select the BG layer the white solid hit track mat and I'm going to select alpha inverted mat geek PNG which is my logo so once I hit that what happens is that the uh, the logo actually becomes transparent and as you can see the background is visible through the logo now what's cool is that if I scale this logo up the background still remains in the same position so this is the core of our effect what I like to do is create a new null object and I'm gonna call this logo control and this null object is going to be controlling our the size and position of our logo. So I'm going to pa uh, parent the logo into our null object. Now I can scale this up and down. So I want to move to around uh, three seconds, and I'm going to hit the scale keyframe. I'm going to move back to around one second. And I'm gonna drag that up until I can't see the logo. Now, but let's say your logo uh, does not actually have, like when you scale it, it doesn't have uh, a clear view of the background. It has like a, an obst obstructing part right in the center. Now, in order to counter that, what you have to do is create another property, hit Shift P, uh, the position property, Set the keyframe at the back, and then at the start, you can actually move that around to a place that does not obstruct the view of the background. However, for me, that 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 is not the case because I have a clear view to the background. I'm just gonna undo that and just scale it all the way in until I can't see any white. So now, if I take a look at it, I have pretty much the basis of our animation. Pretty slow, but it, it, it's something. And there we go. 
Sweet. So now, how to I how how to make this a bit better is we have to add some easing effects. So let's um, select this. Click F9 to make an easy ease, and we can drag around the the bars just to mess around with some effects. I kind of like it like this. Yeah, you can see that that doesn't look too good. We've got to just keep playing around with it. I'm going to make it shorter. I'm going to change this up just a little bit. And if we take a look at it now, it looks, that looks alright. I think it needs to be a bit more of an impact at the start. So I'm going to drag this bar a bit closer. In. So you can see it takes a lot of trial and error, but you'll, you'll, you'll eventually get there. And now that's a bit slow, so. But if you like it, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. All right, so now we've got this basic animation. And now the next step that we have to do is actually fill the logo in with the colors that it contains. So to do that, what we do is we drag in the logo that on top of the logo control and actually below that and we're going to go to the this keyframe the, the end keyframe of the logo control and I'm going to drag the scale property of the logo that we just added just to make this not confusing I'm going to call this um, logo fill and I'm going to call this uh, logo outer to drag the logo fill scale down until it is the exact same as the logo outer scale. In this case, it's 9%. So once it's the exact same, what we do is we parent this to the logo outer. That way, um, it has the same scale property throughout the whole animation. At around in the middle of these two, maybe a bit, a bit forward. You want to hit this, the hit T on the logo fill. Click the stopwatch for opacity, and make that zero. Then go to the very end, and make that a hundred. So just like that, we can see the logo comes in, and then the colors fill in. It's that simple. Obviously, you can keep adjusting. You can use different effects as to how you would like to show in the, the logo. But I think this is using an opacity and a scale that's the most basic form. Now to even further emphasize the uh, effect, what we can do is at the start of the animation, this first keyframe, go to your background, click the scale, hit the stopwatch, and around the center, I'm not sure, but we can adjust. I'm gonna make that 75%. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna give the first keyframe a bit of an easy ease. And I'm gonna make that cubic. So now if we watch the animation, you can kind of see that actually gives the background uh, scaling in, gives it a look of um, as if the whole animation is being scaled in. It just looks better. Obviously we can adjust that. And it's quite a slow animation at the moment. Of course we can speed things up. Let's just drag this in a bit. Uh, make the opacity like this. Let's see if that makes it better. So let's RAM preview that. Nice. So that's pretty much the basis of our animation. There's not much to it, it's just a really basic animation, but it works in a lot of situations. There we go. Now keep in mind that this works for text, it works for uh, 
images, it works for logos, it works for pretty much anything that has a clear outline. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, feel free to experiment on different animations, different properties, and different forms of the logo. So we could use text logos, maybe try like the text layer. Uh, that all works, I've tried before. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it. Uh, if you make anything with this effect, please let me know down in the comments. And yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. See you guys.